Um, no, just tonight, uh, I thought it was a real energetic first half, especially. Um, Y'all kind of just uh, fed off. You know, you got a big win at Chattanooga the other night. Talk about the way y'all came out tonight, uh, especially, I thought, defensively. Um, it was kind of a game of runs. You got that big run right before the half, take 10-point lead in halftime, which obviously proved important. Yeah, no, our talk all week has been energy. You know, with no fans being in the building, we always got to make sure we're bringing our own energy. You know, that was a big deal at Chat because they don't have fans at all. And we felt like we brought good in certain spots of the game. And then today we're back on our home court. So regardless of fans or not, I wish we had a few, but still it's our court. So, you know, we're going to come out with that energy regardless. Got to protect the house. And also we knew um, we knew Mercer's a really good team when they run what they run. So only way you can get them out of it is pressure. So that was big for us. And defense fuels this program. So, you know, when we start getting stops, we start getting energy and we start making shots. That's usually how it goes. I thought, um, no, this is John. I, th I thought late in the in the half, you had a steal there where were you going for a dunk, um, and, and that kind of set the tone, you know, for the, the you know going into the locker room with the momentum. Just just talk about um, how you guys just really played down the stretch in that that first half, and then it continued on in, into the second half. Yeah, yeah. When we got into halftime, um, we, you know, we just said we got to throw a. Uh, the last punch, the knockout punch, because, you know, they were staying around for a while. The lead was kind of staying at where it was at. And then, you know, we built that lead up to 18, and then we got really loose at the end. We stopped talking on defense, had some transition errors. You know, Ross got hot late, and that cost us, but we still got the dub. So, you know, we can learn from that going in the next game. But, yeah, definitely the, the talk in the second half was the finishing blow, the finishing blow, keep going. The first half didn't mean nothing to us. Um, no, I are you feeling more comfortable? I mean, it looked like today you were able to do some of the things that you, like, just for some reason haven't been able to put two and two together this year. It seemed like you hit threes today. You were able to make some moves down low. You got the foul line a good bit. Do you think this is probably your most complete game so far this year? Yeah, so definitely so far. You know, it's conference play, so it's a different type of season. And also just staying out of foul trouble. That's a big deal for me, you know, yeah. getting in foul trouble that could throw my flow off sometimes. So coach just told me to play discipline defense the whole game, and that's what I tried to do. And, you know, it goes for the team, goes for everyone. I felt like my defense was good today. So offensively, I was free out there. And um, Clay is shooting the ball like that. Can you just – can you talk about how much that helps you out as well and, and how much kind of – you know, you got to relieve the pressure off one of one another when you're both when you're both hitting like that. Yeah, you know, when we're, me and Clay are both going, it's like a dual edge short. You know what I'm saying? I think I drove one time and they left them wide open. I passed it to him. I knew it was money. You know what I'm saying? So every time Clay gets hot, you know that's that's dangerous. You know, everybody remembers how it felt when Jordan got hot last year. When Clay has that same capability, and he's just six seven. So when definitely when he's hot, our offense is completely different. Just like when Mike's hot or when Alex is hot, you know that that shooting touch they have is is different. Uh, Noah, you know with this week the schedule kind of changing, but that's going to be kind of part of this season. You know, it, it's something you're just going to have to deal with. And um, I guess you turn your attention to VMI next Saturday, but it's going to be kind of how do you, how do you think the team's going to kind of react with you know. You're going from playing a game Wednesday to not playing a game Wednesday. You got like a week off. Mm -hmm. No, I mean it's crazy because a similar situation happened in the first half of the uh, season. You know, we lost the Richmond game, and we had to end up playing Charleston on a Saturday. And you know, you know, our motto is whenever, wherever. You know what I'm saying? You know, this is a crazy year, so we can't let things we can't control affect us. You know, so we're gonna work this week. You know, the coach is gonna come up with a good plan to make sure we're tight and we get better. Thanks, John. No problem. All right. Um, good win. You know, any win in the league is good, and uh, especially versus, versus a really good program like like Mercer. And you know, we we knew it wasn't going to be easy. I think um, we we thought there for a second that it was going to get easy. And you know, a team that's that well coached and has that much you know age on it, they're not just going to quit. And um, you know, we got a little bit loose there in the last five six minutes of the game. But I thought up until then, we played pretty well. We did some good things. I thought Noah Gurley was phenomenal today. I thought Clay Mounts was incredible. And, um, you know, I thought also our defensive energy 
particularly, like I said, in that, in that, in that main chunk of the game, I thought, you know, 27 deflections. I thought we were pretty active. We had 17 of those at halftime. And so, you know, we were able to bring a little bit of pressure and um, we were able to get out and run a little bit, which I thought was, was, which I thought was important. They're huge, they're big. And so we had to be able to get some stops and, you know, get out and transition. So overall happy, um, but, but not, not real, not real satisfied with the finish there. We, we, we just had a lot of details uh, start to unravel. We fouled two three point shooters. We gave up a rebound on the, on the, on the box out on the free throw. Um, we have a bunch of missed assignments on the ball screens. We give up naked rolls. And then offensively, we're, we're literally doing things that we're not supposed to be doing. And, um, you know, it just got it got a little frantic there. So fortunately, we've closed it out. There, there are times when you can start to do that stuff and it can cost you a game. Um, so so we don't want to we don't want to be too disappointed in, in that. But it is it is something that we've got to continue to work for a 40 minute performance. And um, I know we'll get there. Coach, in the first half, it was so tight for much of the first half. There's, each team had a run there early. And then you go on a 7-0 run like the last 50 seconds to take a 10-point lead in half. Obviously, math-wise, that was important. But, you know, to be up 10, and from a Mercer perspective, it felt like you were right in it. But now you're down double digits going to halftime. How big was that run there right in that? Yeah, that was huge. I mean, it, it was it was huge. And we talked about that at the 336 timeout of just how important this stretch was going to be. But we were able to get some deflections. You know, Noah got that steal. Uh, Mike got that offensive rebound tip in. And, um, you know, we had another steal that got into transition. It was just it was just through defensive activity. And, um, you know, we're, we're more than capable and, and we, we know we can sit down and guard. It's just it's it's a matter of us just really buying in to doing it every single possession of the game. So, you know, I, I, I do think that it got us a lot of energy there. You know, we got down was a 16 nine when I called the timeout. And, and so from that point of the timeout to halftime, you know, I thought I thought our defensive energy really picked up. Which was which was the key, you know, for us in terms of just not their offensive concepts are too good, you know. They're just um, they've got shooters everywhere. They've got a million plays they run. They've got a great motion offense that they run, and so um, you know, if, if you don't if you don't want to sit down and guard, they're gonna they're gonna make your day a little bit hectic, which they showed us there at the end and and at the beginning of the game as well. Can you talk about um, just how they guarded you different than maybe Chattanooga? I noticed they they kind of did a nice job of of you know, shutting down, not really shutting down, but limiting your dribble penetration um, from what you had against Chattanooga. But that set up, you know, guys like Noah and Clay open for threes. Just talk about how Mike and, and really how Alex were able to recognize that and, and um, dissect that. Well, every team's different. Everybody has different defensive schemes. And, you know, Chattanooga did what Chattanooga does. And for the most part, Mercer did what Mercer does. You know, I mean, that's part of it at this point in the year. And, um, you know, Chattanooga decided to have the paint a little bit more exposed and stayed out on shooters. You know, Mercer's got Mercer plays with two six ten guys, so they're they're going to have they're going to have more people in the paint. And um, you know, so it's just for us, we've got to be patient. We got to let we got to let the offense work. And um, I thought we thought we did that for the most part, but again, their late game, you know, we were trying to get into some concepts and work the clock a little bit, and we just start firing balls up there. You know, and we, we really gave no thought of the clock, but. We also had some beautiful offensive possessions today, and um, you know the the back cut for Clay on the and one. Um, we had we had a lot of side to side movement with some good driving kicks today. That was nice to see, and um, you know we got a lot of pieces out there. And, and the whole trick is they've just gotta they gotta buy into playing as one. And when they do it, it, it looks really pretty. But when we when we get outside of that and start doing our own thing a little bit, um, it can get a little bit it can get a little bit choppy. And um, you know, but again, we score eighty three. You know, there's there's a lot of teams that would die to, to get to 83. So we always feel like we can do a little bit better. But um, at the end of the day, the defense is what really cost us in this one. So we've got to we've got to continue. You know, both both conference games. I think that offensively we've done a pretty good job and we've been fairly efficient. But it, it, it's not that we're not capable. It's not that we don't know what to do. Uh, we just we got to fight for consistency on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, coach, uh, sorry. It's kind of a bad segue for my next question. Let's go back to the first half defense, specifically Mike Bothwell. You know, he had all his deflections. He has five steals in the first half. Uh, I thought two huge uh, plays for you, too, were on, you know, you're not necessarily a pressing team, but he gets those steals off inbounds. Um, There's one stretch where Clay made a shot. Uh, he saved the ball off the inbounds, got it to Colin. 
got it back to Clay, put y'all up 26-19, forced them to call timeout. And another time later, I think these rule jump balls, I couldn't tell who it went off of. But it looked like Mike bounced it off the Mercer's guy leg on the inbound. Um, it, it just seemed like Mike was especially dialed in defensively, you know, in the in that first half. Yeah, you know, I mean, Mike's the defense has improved a lot. And, um, you know, he's done a great job really just buying into that side of the floor. And, I mean, we've been giving him – I mean, this game he had the Ross Cummings assignment. Last game he had the Malachi Smith assignment. He, he You know, I think – the defense that Alex Hunter and Mike Bothwell are playing on the perimeter is exceptional. I really do. And, and I think that, you know, once we can get complete there, I mean, he's, he's his physicality, his strength, his ability to just play angles a little bit better, fight through ball screens. You know, he can switch on the people that have some size and not be super bothered by it. Uh, it's just it's just been buy-in. You know, he looks like he's enjoying doing it. And that, and that usually is a trick of defense, Scott. Can you get a team that really enjoys to sit down and guard and it's probably the hardest part of our jobs, you know, because getting there is not always an easy process and there takes a little bit of a buy-in and um, it's not how they always see the game. Um, but it's important that we understand that this is where it starts for us and we got to be consistent. So I'm, I'm thankful for Mike's buy-in there. You know, I'm thankful that he's really taken a step and said, hey, I want, I want to be a defensive stopper because he's, he's causing some problems out on the perimeter. Coach, you, you have um, 14 steals today. I, obviously happy with that part of the, the defensive game plan. Um, in the first half especially, I thought there was a lot of uh, ball deflections. Um, you guys seem to come out and play really well defensively f- in, until at least after the first media timeout. Just uh, talk about really in the first two conference games how you've been able to come out and defend. And, and I know the last game got up 9 nothing. Um, just just talk about how maybe uh, – I know it's tough to keep that energy up, but um, how you come out and really establish that early on. I mean, I, we just know that's how we have to play here. And, um, you know, we've always known that everything starts with our defense. And, and so we're starting the game better there, you know, than we were earlier in the year on the defensive end. I think we got to continue to work to, to get our depth, you know, playing the same type of defense, because I think what we're seeing is when we start to go substitutions, our defense takes a little bit of a step back and um, that's just going to take time, you know, and that's why, that's why, you know, we've got to take advantage of this week and um, we'll get a little bit extra practice time and we just got to keep fighting for consistency of performance. And, um, you know, I think a lot of that's going to be our depth really understand. I think Marcus Foster had a good defensive performance today for the most part. Um, You know, Gary struggled a little bit defensively. It was a little bit different assignment. These guys are a little bit bigger. But he'll get there. You know, he's going to keep fighting. And, um, you know, Colin Kenny and Johnny Lawrence, you know, got to get out there for a minute or so. Um, and we got to get Joe Anderson back in the fold. You know, he's really working to improve his defense. And, you know, I know I know he's really going to help us. And so, you know, I think once we can get consistency in our defense approach from our depth that can allow us to make substitutions and not let our communication and our effort go down um, and that we're playing the correct assignment, I think, I think maybe that's going to help us going forward. And then, you know, this game is different than Chattanooga. I mean, some of our best defense was at the end of the game at Chattanooga. Uh, the, today, I think it was just classic, you know, human nature of just not continuing to, to win the possessions, but instead just thinking that the game was over. And um, once you allow that thought to come in, it's really hard to revert back to the intensity necessary to play the way you need to play, right? Once you, once you allow that thought to settle in that, hey, you know, this one's done, uh, you just can't get there. You got to be disciplined enough to fight till the clock hits the buzzer, and um, that's just an area we got to continue to improve in. Coach, um, would you say that this was uh, Noah's most complete game, especially offensively today? It seemed like everything was kind of locked in on for him. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I haven't watched it yet on the film to really be able to study it, but watching it live, I, I, I think so. And you know, I, I think that. I'm a big believer that your habits are always a preview of your destiny. And, and a lot of times when, when you see guys habits change, a lot of times performance goes up or, or it gets to be more consistent. And, and I've noticed a difference since Noah got back from Christmas. And, um, you know, my strength coach said he had three extra sessions last week where he's working on his balance and his ankle mobility and, and his base. You know, um, I get a text last night that he's in the gym at nine o'clock getting shots up. Um, I know Coach Johnson has mentioned how much he's working on, you know, his film and he, he just he's chasing. And, and I think I think that once once players get in that routine of understanding the extra work is critical to their performance and, and the confidence to their preparation, 
I think you can see, you know, you can see it on the court, right? It's never an accident. And so, you know, I thought Noah was, well, Noah was phenomenal today. I also think that was Clay's best performance, you know, in terms of totality, I think the way he scored it, but really just the edge that Clay's played with the last two games, you know, that's, that's how senior's supposed to play. And, um, you know, he's goes out there and gets 27 day, he's driving, he's cutting, he's shooting, he's posting, uh, he played complete. And so, uh, they're both all conference players. They're both really, really good. And, um, you know, they're, uh, they're, they're hard to figure out because you got, you got, you got them. We can move them around in different spots, you know, depending on how people are going to defend us. And, um, you also got Bothwell out there and then you got Hunter and then you got Slauson. It's a lot, it's a lot to defend, but again, we just got to, we got to make sure we always have that harmony. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thank you. Thank you.